Welcome to our channel of Sciences and Mathematics. Today our topic of discussion is going to be the concept of assets and bases. But before we go to the topic of discussion for today, I'd like to request uh, some of our members who have not already subscribed. Kindly go to YouTube and search Sciences and Mathematics and subscribe to our channel so that you can be able to be getting our updates as we do them day by day. So for today I'd like also to thank those members who have already started engaging us on the comment sections. Of course, we are going to see in the best way possible in which we can be able to be assisting one another in trying to solve, uh, of course, some of the challenges that we find and trying to get a feedback from some of our members who have already requested for maybe a discussion or assistance. So in this case, for today, we are going to look at this specific topic and particularly it's a definition of our assets, bases and salts. And they are going to give us a basis for trying to discuss or maybe other topic which are related to this or maybe trying to see how different chemical substances behave when we treat them as salt, bases and acids. So for that case, thank you and welcome. So as I've said, today's topic of discussion is going to be the concept of our acids, bases and salts. And we're trying to see how we can be able to refer these specific substances of our acids, bases and salts. So of course, these this specific uh, three terms are familiar to us because we come across these substances in our day-to-day -day maybe operations and maybe in our industries or our home as uh, consumables. So in this case, uh, the concepts of acids can be given <coughs> three specific uh, definitions. The, the basic one being that uh, an acid is a substance which is associated in water to give hydrogens as the only positive ions. For instance, if I have a substance like uh, HCl, which is hydrochloric acid, this one in aqueous solution or maybe in aqueous form can be able to be written as an ionic equation consisting of those two specific species. So as we have said that an acid is a substance that dissociates in water to form hydrogen as the only positive ions. And we have given an example of this. Now in some substances, in some instances, we're going to refer to this one as a uh, basically a proton, which is a hydrogen H+. plus. Now we can be able to give another example of this uh, kind of a species which can dissociate uh, in uh, maybe water to form uh, hydrogen as the only positive ion. Of course there are other species which like the sulfate and the chloride ions which have indicated in these specific instances whereby they are <coughs> Ion species which are formed, of course, but they have a different charge. So in this case, uh, we are going to see that uh, acids can be formed as well from the diatomic gases that we, uh, we, 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 we basically know that, uh, like the chlorine gas, we can as well have sulfur-4 outside and even carbon-4 outside, which when dissolved in water, they form uh, or they have uh, an acidic property. So basically, this is how we're going to a basic definition for an acid but as we advance we're going to see also different versions in which we can be able to use uh, in order to refer to substances which are known as acids now <clears throat> those two particular ones so this is the first one the second one is Arrhenius this Arrhenius definition of an acid whereby this uh, concept of Arrhenius definition is a classical concept in actual sense that means that uh, or refers to acids as proton donors. So basically, as we have already defined this concept of a proton, so Arrhenius defines acids as a, acids as proton donors, while the also we are going to see a version of Arrhenius definition of uh, the basis. So the third one is a constant definition of an acid. So for constant definition of an acid. <coughs> We basically refer to them as uh, Bronsted acids. I know for Bronsted definition of an acid, this is a general definition of an acid, whereby Bronsted defines the acid as a, a proton donor. So basically, if we try to look at the these uh, different definitions, basically for Bronsted definition, there is a unique or a characteristic way in that this one is a more general one whereby we're going to see some species like maybe if I give an 
let's say for example for a compound of ammonium chloride we can have two species for ammonium ion and chlorine so <clears throat> a species that is assumed to behave as a proton can be regarded as a, a donor since it's a positive ion so in this case we're going to have uh, these three specific definitions for acids and bases and for that case we can be able to as well define what a base is but of essence for us is uh, just know the basic definition for a start that uh, an acid is a proton donor from the basic definition and in any case if we are asked about the Arrhenius definition it's more general that is uh, a proton but for Cronstead it's uh, a proton donor but uh, in this case we are going to consider some of the species which are going to behave uh, in a similar manner as a proton so if we look at the second <coughs> aspect of that and this is the basis we are going to see that uh, a base also in a general refers to as a substance that is able to dissociate in a water to give hydroxide as the only negatively charged ions now for instance if i have a substance like uh, the calcium hydroxide dissociating this is going to form the calcium ions plus the hydroxide ions so this is going to form a we, we have to write a stoichiometric equation for this it's going to form two species for the positive and negative ions so in this case this substance has dissociated in water to produce the hydroxide as the only negatively charged ions we're going to see some of the cases whereby these specific ions can be different maybe uh, like the sulfates hydroxides etc but for this case for bases it's hydroxides which are the only negative ions and uh, in solution form now we can extend this definition for a base to, enc to encompass compounds which contain oxides or hydroxide ions and react with acids to form salts and water now for instance we can uh, have a substance like uh, sodium hydroxide which is reacting with an acid to produce salt plus water so in this case basically a substance that reacts with an acid to produce salt and water is referred to as a base so we're going to see that there's a specific definition for this particular kind of a reaction that we are going to refer to as a neutralization reaction whereby an acid base reaction results in the formation of a salt uh, plus water and we are going to see that uh, this kind of a reaction is going to be mentioned specifically in substances which dissociate in water and there's a specific term that i've been using for this reference now this is a uh, short term for the word aqueous basically which means a substance that has been dissolved in water and uh, suppose maybe we have a, a reaction whereby a substance formed when a hydrogen ions of an acid is replaced directly or indirectly by a metal or an ammonium radical then therefore we are going to form a, a salt now in any case of course I've given a, a reaction for an acid base but we can be able to give an example of an, an additional one for this now we've talked in one of our videos about the concept of uh, bonding and uh, we talked about the concept of ionic bond now we're going to see that a salt is an ionic compound that is formed when a cation is derived from a base and an ion from an acid that combine during neutralization uh, we're going to write in a stoichiometry of chemical equations about the ionic equations and the of course the stoichiometric other stoichiometric equations and in this case maybe the ionic equations are going to represent uh, for us species which are reacting in order to form product now if i try to write this one of course in ionic form we're going to have those specific substances i mean ion species reacting from the the, the reactant side and they're going to form products uh, this is a two positive plus cl plus this is going to be to, 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 to result from our can just write plus water but this is basically i'm just going to write it water this is a hydrogen plus hydroxide ions i'm just basically going to write it as water 
So in this case, we're going to see that uh, uh, a salt is an ionic compound that is formed when a cation is derived from a base. Our base is this one. So the cation is this one from a base and an ion from an acid. This one. So there's a difference between ion and an ion. So I'm basically referring to this second one and then the, the cation. Basically when the two combine, they form a, what we call an ionic compound, uh, which, is, which is basically uh, this one here. We just use a different. So this one will be from a calcium chloride, which, which is an ionic compound. It forms an ionic lattice from the bonding that I've mentioned. That is that, that one. <clears throat> so therefore, we can have a second definition for a salt as a compound, an ionic compound that is formed uh, from a cation that is derived from a base. And it combines uh, with, of course, uh, an ion that is derived from an acid during neutralization process. I've said that acid-base reaction is a neutralization process. So basically, this is how we can be able to define an acid base and a salt using the general definition the Arrhenius definition, the prostate definition for acid base and uh, the salts. Now, in this case, if I have an emphasis for this, uh, of course, we have said that uh, for prostate definition of a base, it's or an acid is a proton donor that is more general, and the prostate definition of a base is a proton acceptor. So, we are going to see these specific terms that we have mentioned in this uh, concept being applied across some of the topics that we're going to discuss, especially on uh, reactions of acids, bases, and salts. So I believe that this short maybe definition for these specific terms or reference that we have mentioned can be able to be understood uh, whenever maybe we are trying to do an application in one of our videos or another. So that is for today, guys. Thank you. Bye. God bless.